I think right off the bat when you talk about the action, I personally thought that it was like a 12 out of 10. It just like knocked it out of the park action wise. Um, Clint, let's start with you. What was your favorite scene? There's so many to pick. There's so many, right? Like yeah. that's the coolest thing about this movie, I thought, is there's so many different action sequences that each have different flavors. You know, there, yeah. there's like, they didn't sort of, some of the gun fu stuff kind of translated from scene to scene to scene, but really like the set pieces were so different yeah. uh, that you can, it, and per, my favorite one, uh, not to say that the movie went downhill after this, but I think the highlight of the movie was right up front. Mm -hmm. There's the fight scene in this vintage weapon mm -hmm. shop. Uh, and then the fact that we see John Wick like rebuilding a gun to fit a, a like the bullet he picked, which I don't really understand because he picked a bullet off of a wall full of different sizes. Yeah. Picked another yeah. gun, yeah, yeah exactly. Put the bullet yeah. In that yeah. gun, yeah. But we get to see him like take he apart a gun and rebuild like, another yeah. gun and listen to the gun and all of it for <laughs> one headshot. And just like the thing that was great about that, the the rest of the sequence that you see some of it in the trailer with all, like all the knife throwing and like the the like oh are you gonna throw a knife okay I'll throw a knife too and like the, it was it was a funny kind of cheeky but also really brutal fight sequence that followed but like the fact that they spent so much time for that first headshot of the movie yeah <laughs> like I literally I was sitting next to you David I literally I old man clapped and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh it, it was so yeah. it was so much fun that they made such a meal out of that first headshot that it really set the tone for the whole movie of yeah. like look we're not we know what we're doing here you know we know why you're here for John Wick 3 and we're going to give all of it to you are you ready yeah. they pay so yeah. much attention to detail even the way they reload a gun like it's just it's so much detail like whenever they're taking the time to reload get the bullet like they're actually doing it's not just like a magic reload yeah. they have to take their time and do it it takes yeah. time to reload a gun so it's just cool to see that detail I do think every major character in addition to getting some cool action to do had a sequence where it's like let, now let's watch Lance Reddick reload a gun for like 40 seconds yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they were, yeah it's like he you know just shoot one guy and then like He's like sliding the slug in. And, yeah. and then he moves. You know? <laughs> yeah. That was um, a great scene. And just finally seeing like the hotel manager like do some damage. Mm -hmm. Like we've always seen him like so polite and reserved. And then it's just like he's rolling up his sleeves and just like you're like, damn. Yeah. All right, Lance Reddick. You're a badass. So. But for, for me, that first action sequence in that yeah. vintage gun yeah. shop was it, it gave you a little bit of everything. It was a really nice uh, sort of, uh, you know, just intro to everything that we're going to get. It had like. That slow, brutal knife into the eye was like. Oh, just thinking about I turned it. away. I and then, like, it there's, some, there's some cheekiness away. to it. There's some some brutality to it, uh, and some truly like inventive stuff happening. Uh, you know, and setting like a comedic tone for some yeah. of the action. Yeah, yeah, totally. Sydney, what about you? I think it was the Casablanca fight. I loved the use of the dogs, and you know, Halle Berry's there, and it was just. I mean, hearing you guys talk about the reloading actually makes me rethink it a little bit because I do think that what's so special about these films is kind of this certain amount of, like, romanticism that they put into, like, the weapons and, like, the martial arts and just, like, there's a certain amount of respect and, like, gravitas that you get from all the action sequences. And I think it's a little bit more absent in this particular, in the Casablanca scene than um, the rest of them. But with that said, just having the dogs there and the waves of enemies coming made me feel like I was like watching the best video game movie I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, I don't know. I It's just, everything about this movie is so simple at its core. It's not overly complex. And the scene where people leaving, where they just caused a huge mess and yeah. it was enjoyable to watch and I loved it. And seeing Halle Berry bark at her dogs <laughs> to go attack people was How many people got enticing. bit in the crotch? During uh, that. Cross like at least of, there was, yeah. right? There was a good amount. A lot, yeah. lot of dudes getting bit in the crotch. Yeah. Yeah. I would love after a guy was dead in Over, shot. Yeah, like yeah, the dogs would still just be going at the guy. Like he's dead. He's dead. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know that. He's yeah, just doing know. his job. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> David, what about you? Which one stuck out to you the most? Uh, I love one of the last fights in the movie. It's not the last fight, but it's the fight before the last fight, uh, which is the one with the guys from the raid. And yeah. John, we're in that yeah. cool glass room. Clint, I think you were, you and Jackie got to be on set. Yeah. Yeah. Clint, you said you got vertigo from the set because you're looking <laughs> yeah, down. Yeah. The glass yeah. oh, walking everywhere. across the second <clears throat> the second floor of a completely glass set and seeing yeah. everything move around. There's like some reflections playing. Like it yeah. was it was trippy. It was weird. No, it was and then the belt really the cool belt set. stuff came. The belt stuff that yeah. the stunt team taught you how to do like totally yeah. came into play. It was yeah. Great. It was really they were like okay we're gonna teach you how to do this stunt with the belt and I'm like uncoordinated and just like awful this stuff. So I was just like okay 
this is not going to go well. But these guys are so freaking yeah. talented yeah. that they yeah. make you look good. Right. But I mean, to see it all come to life, like what we saw, and then to see it play on the mm-hmm. big screen and the shattering glass and the well, raid guys, I mean, yeah, you take it away. That's what yeah. I love about the raid guys because they offer a different style of combat, of yeah. movie combat. You know, I mean, I'm sure in real life, as badass as Keanu is, I don't, probably couldn't take both those guys on at the same time. But I love that the movie didn't, they make him superhuman. They make John Wick superhuman. But at the same time, you see his age. He's a 50-plus-year-old mm-hmm. guy. And the way those guys are moving from the raid, they can move quicker in a different way. They're smaller. So he has to use his size and his strength to kind of manhandle him a little bit. Like, you know, pull the jacket down and kind of wrap up his arms. And yeah. Yeah. the way they... There's a couple, like, WWE kind of WWE moves. He, like, yeah. he, he, he had to find a way to beat like. those two guys. They were so much more athletic than yeah. he was. So that was a really cool fight. The guys from the raid are incredible. I don't know if we're, we're probably never going to get a raid three. So it was great to see yeah. those and guys in action. That fight juxtaposed really well with the fight against the giant in the beginning in the yes. library who Hold got on. killed by a book a Philadelphia which was 76 insane. Yeah. 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 yeah he's a large Jackie man. what about you what was your favorite really quickly I I mean I'm kind of tied here it's either going to be the horses and the stable just kicking dudes or yeah. the motorcycle <laughs> samurai like that was just like both of those are just out the, of this world, the just idea, bizarre. Yeah, the idea that John Wick can commune with animals to the yeah, point where right. he can be like, yeah. okay, wait, 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 kick. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty great. Yeah. Aw, so much good action. Make sure to check out the rest of our John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum coverage. Be sure to subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.